Did Ripple fans and XRP holders just lose? I have to read something to you and then I'm asking you the question at the end. No matter what Taurus said, has the damage been done or can Ripple and XRP rise from the ashes? Starting it off with your comments because yes, you, the viewer, matter most. And I honestly, I want to hear from you because I, I think there's some merit to this statement. Michael Thomas Martin says, if whales are buying, why isn't it at least 60 cents by now? Because there's a lot of people dumping. There's a lot of people that are trying to get out in case the price goes down. So you got people on both sides, no harm, no foul. R. Long says, we should all message him and tell him to quit messing with crypto. You are one of the reasons for all the craziness in crypto. Talking about Gary Gensler, yeah. Gary's like, hey, if you see anything bad, suspicious, report it to the SEC. Gary, I see you missing a lot of stuff. Heat map, screw it. Let's just get right into the meat because I don't feel like wasting your time. And by the way, happy Saturday. As you are watching this video, I am currently racing. Awesome, isn't it? So this is from Money GCC. Now, again, just think about the idea of the comments here. Here's what he said. You know, at this stage of blockchain development, Brad Garlinghouse of Ripple should really reread his own peanut butter manifesto because his own advice of a company spreading itself thin applies. Ripple is at the stage Yahoo moved to compete with AOL. It's crystal clear that Ripple is trying to directly compete with Circle. That makes sense, right? Because Circle has USDC, Ripple is gonna have RLUSD. The only difference is Circle is five years ahead because Jeremy Allaire has decades of experience in finance and knew what customers needed and wanted, but also what they don't want and what they needed and what they didn't want. The amount of missteps at Ripple, a company I'm actually fond of, are sad to say the least. The crazy thing here is that the execs at Ripple are always looking at who is in front of them, never who is coming up from behind, and consistently marketing themselves as the ones solving a problem, while the builders at Circle and Chainlink have taken major partners and major liquidity without crazy marketing spends. If Ripple doesn't change its ways, it's doomed to a Yahoo fate. Time to change the BS marketing and actually focus on building. Oh, and enough with the Riddlers. No one on Wall Street or abroad will take you seriously. He has the peanut butter manifesto linked down below and that's from Brad Garlinghouse. But the big question I have to ask from you is, Ripple going to be left behind by the likes of USDC and the broader market? Think about this, what they're basically saying is this, okay? Is that USDC has a head start on RLUSD and Ripple's trying to compete against him. But we also have the Taurus case with the SEC and Ripple. So even if Ripple gets out of the Taurus action unscathed, has the damage already been done? Is Ripple really five years behind USDC? Is Ripple spreading themselves too thin and, and trying to look too much at the leaders of the stablecoin market and not fixing problems? Is the Taurus damage done? No matter what the verdict is from Taurus, is Ripple behind because of that? Or can they slingshot back up to the lead? I want to hear from you because that's what this is all about. People ahead of you, people behind you, and where you stand, just like me racing right now. There's people in front of me, and that's all I'm focusing on. But I guarantee you, if I hear the pitter-patter, right, of steps behind me, I'm going to look behind me, I'm going to drop a gear, and I'm going to go for it. So now it's your time to let me know in the comments below what you think. Is Ripple behind? Are they always going to be behind? Has the damage from the SEC been done, and can it be reversed? Will Ripple be able to gain the crown? Let me know in the comments below, and maybe while I'm taking breaks during racing, I'll read them. I'll catch you cool cats later. I've got to run.